Welcome to Linkernicity, where your journey and destiny link. I'm Stacey Kumagai, your Linkologist, and I'm here to help you link your life. Today, we are going to be talking about linking to your soul's compassion, which is part two of the next level vision awareness video. So, first of all, I want to say thank you for those of you who did watch it yesterday. Um, I hope you feel more connected or at least got to your homework. So how did that go? <laughs> what did you find out when you did your homework, when you did your three columns? Were you able to list some of the things that you still have residue on that you need to, in order to remove the, the blockage that's preventing you from getting that next link? Did we get there? What about the thing that was bigger than you? Did you get to that? In terms of your soul's fulfillment and happiness, something greater joy that is bigger than what the human context of, of, of needing and wanting is? Did you find that? What were you able to discover? Well, today we're going to be diving into the soul compassion link, which is very different from human compassion. And you might be wondering, well, how is soul compassion different from human compassion? Well, let me explain. Yesterday, when we talked about all of the exterior human stuff, all the things that we do to navigate our journey here on Earth, to, to do what we do as daily, on a daily basis as human beings and our, you know, our autopilot of sorts. All of the self-help, self-worth, self-love, self-esteem work that we've done is the exterior. So let's look at it as an analogy of a car. Everything you've done for self-care, self-love, is to deal with the car's exterior body. When you got into some of the human issues of, of, of dealing with some of your emotional, mental, stress, fatigue, that's dealing with the car's battery. Dealing with the car's soul is the engine. So today we're going to be going into the mechanics of the soul's engine, the soul's compassion. Because everyday human compassion for our brothers and sisters here on earth that we work with every day, that is our empathy, our love, our caring, our concern, um, you know, feeling, exchanging, relating. That's human to human. Soul to soul starts with yourself first in understanding what your soul's purpose is so you can have deeper compassion for your own soul and where it's been. Now, you know, our humans are like warriors, you know, battling, right? We're battling every day. We're putting on the putting on the armor, going out there, going to battle, doing what we have to do, braving the elements. And when we get home, take off the armor and we're like, oh, we can finally be ourselves. Okay, so all of this work up until now has been able to go out in the external world as a human without the armor so we can be our authentic selves outside. But being our authentic selves outside in everyday worth, work, you know, work world is not the same as being our authentic self with our authentic soul until we know where our soul has been. Our human has memories of what we've been dealing with in this lifetime. As for our soul's previous lifetimes, there's an inner knowing, an inner knowing, an inner gut knowing. And the easiest analogy that I can give to you to understand what that soul compassion knowing is, is deja vu. Have you ever had that feeling like, mm, I've been here before, or I feel like I know that person from someplace, even though you've never met? Or maybe I, I know why I was supposed to do this because I feel a connection to this way of life, this lifestyle, this geography, anything. It could be that familiarity, but you know in your right mind that in this lifetime, as an earthling, you've never even been there before. That is a sneak peek, insight to where your soul's been. And until we develop the compassion for the, the warrior battling that our soul did, we never truly reconcile fully. 
okay? We can do all of the human fixing, okay? That's beautiful, that's lovely, we need that. Everybody needs that. But the soul carries so much more because it's literally our engine, okay? This is just the vessel. The car exterior is just the, the vessel that's carrying us. And so how do we get our, to our soul's compassion? How do we understand better? Well, deja vu is one. Dreams is the next. Now you may have thought like you, you know, you've been having dreams and it's like, oh, I had one but I forgot it. And you wake up, the first thing you do is a lot of, a lot of people wake up and they forget they had a dream, but they had a dream. Well, the dreams, when we get repetitive ones and you know that they don't have anything to do with what your soul, with your human has to reconcile in the earth. Like let's say you missed a plane or you went to the dentist or you were in the middle of a, an ice storm or whatever and you have this dream, you go, how does this relate to my everyday life? It doesn't make sense. Like you're not trying to uh, combat a, a, an argument or something with you know a neighbor or a friend or a boss or, or work out any kind of challenge in the earthly plane. Maybe it actually has to do with where your soul's been. Maybe that's a sneak peek insight to where your soul's been. And we need to heal there too. We need to heal from that space. We need to apply compassion and be, be gentle with our soul. You always see me say, be gentle with yourself or take on the day gently. I'm actually talking to your soul, not just your human. You know, we need to take care of ourselves in that way. So for the next few weeks, I want you to log any flashes, dreams, deja vu experiences that you can and see if you can find a pattern. See if you can find a pattern. And what we're gonna do at the end of the series, I don't know how long this is gonna go, because I get all the downloads as to what videos to shoot. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna link it all together. And I'm gonna show you how it all connects. And that way you'll be able to have more clarity on the next level of awareness from the soul space. So I hope that helps. If not, hit me back on social media and uh, see if I can answer a question. And of course, there'll be a next video, which we're going to be dealing with our soul's truth in part three. So anyway, thank you so much. I'm Stacey Kumga, your legologist, here to help you link your life. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, linkernicityblogspot.com. Go to linkernicity.com for private coaching sessions. I hope you have a wonderful day having a little more compassion for your soul.